Onward, then. Hello, welcome back. Uh, we'll be exploring the Friendly Arm Inn now. And uh, last video I made a mistake. Uh, I bought the book uh, History of the Unicorn Run. But I won't need that for a very long time. Uh, I had to buy, buy the History of the Faithful Coin. I will need that uh, for more soon. And uh, let's see if there is something interesting here. A man shouldn't speak to let's talk to all the people here. Some annoying noblemen here. And uh, here we find Unshare. And uh, he or she, what? I don't know. Uh, tells us that there is a ogre, and um, he, he, the ogre, has uh, stolen his belt, and uh, he will give us uh, a, a copy of his book and uh, 95 gold points if we turn it to him. But uh, that's only when you have a uh, high enough charisma, uh, 16 or more will do the trick. Uh, let's explore it a bit more. Hmm? And there's a nobleman here. Um, and he won't give us anything yes. interesting. Let's head up to the next floor. And we find Landrin. I wouldn't dream of refusing. A pleasure it is. And uh, he asks us to bring back his uh, the bottle of wine and a pair of worn-out boots from his house. And if you have a high enough charisma, 17 or 18, he will give uh, us some antidotes for. Uh, to help us against the spiders. Venom, because this house is overrun with spiders. That will be useful, Something I suppose. Let's explore some more. No time to and uh, this guy mis uh, mistakes us for uh, the dry cleaner. Um, and we can get his golden pantalo uh, pantaloons and uh, they're absolutely worthless yet uh, how ironic it may be those pantaloons will be useful in Baldur's Gate 2 so uh, export your character holding the pantaloons and import it back again uh, in Baldur's Gate 2 uh, I will explain later what these pantaloons do. No time to change. And we give it back, and uh, we gain a hundred experience from it. Ready and able. So <laughs> they were good for us after all. And that's about it. You might be able to do some looting around here in those chests and these uh, chambers, but I'm not one. going to bother with it. So, let's head out again. And explore the surroundings. Oh crap, it's raining, raining again! Um, here we have the uh, Temple of Wisdom, and we will come back there later. And we are welcomed by Galena Mirashade. And you can donate, uh, cure your wounds, buy potions, and identify items, but I don't need that for now. And, um, let's leave. Uh, we still have an uh, open quest here uh, to get uh, Choa's Flame Dance Ring. Uh, oops, no. The exit is over there. Uh, and we will um, also have to uh, get the belt 
from that uh, dwarf gnome. I don't know. Hard to tell. Uh, so uh, we will explore uh, the surroundings of the fortress clockwise. Just follow the road and you'll find everything that you need. I don't like how my archers are running up front. Right, continuing clockwise and eventually yes, we find our first hobgoblin encounter. And uh, we can easily take them out. I can, but try. Uh, loot their corpses. Their items aren't too valuable. Damn. Khalid can't carry two pieces of armor. Yes. Khalid, what's his strength actually? Uh, 15, yes. Khalid isn't a very good fighter. Eventually you will uh, meet better ones. But for now we will do fine. Continuing on clockwise, and we find our next Hobgoblin troop. And I'm going to help Khalid here. And that guy starts to run, but he soon regains. And look at that, this is uh, Joe's Flame Dance Ring. And we will be returning that later. Pick up their equipment. Oh, what's this? It's a studded necklace with Zayo. That's new. <laughs> Haven't seen that a lot. With Zayo's Kim. How nice, but it's worthless. It's it's no magical item. Only magical uh, jewelry is good. All the rest is basically uh, just selling. Good for selling. And we will continue on uh, clockwise. Find some more hobgoblins. And we can take them out easily. We'll give, I will give now the uh, the lighter equipment to Khalid. Oh damn, that's already too much. God damn it. Yes, that's fine. And I will uh, myself carry the armor, which is uh, heavier. Alright, continuing on, we'll be heading uh, south now, so we have reached the end of the map. And I don't believe that there are any more monsters now, but there is still a, a valuable out item uh, it's just south of uh, Friendly Arm Inn. And I will get it. I might cut a bit of this walking out of the video. Although I like the music now. Um, let's uh, regroup. Uh, no, it's more to the left. And there it is. Here you can see, oh, in this uh, pile of sand, we find a ring. And oh, damn it, my, I have no place to put it. Here, carry that for me. And this ring is a ring of wizardy. 
I don't suppose anybody can identify it now. Uh, it will double the level 1 spells of a mage, and that is very useful. Uh, so I will be using that later, I won't be selling it. Very useful ring, I uh, highly recommend that. Uh, now uh, I will head back south to get the belt for uh, the dwarf person from the ogre. And I will be doing that in the next video, so uh, stay tuned for more.